how about something a little more uplifting? Welcome to Positive Listicles, and today we are counting down on the top 7 positive news stories of 2022. These are crazy times we are living in, and these 7 news stories will give you hope for the remainder of 2022. So here are the top 7 positive news stories of 2022. Number 7. Almost $13 million raised for animal shelters to honor the late celebrity with the hashtag Betty White Challenge. Joanne Worley and Loretta Swit were among the celebrities who began a campaign on social media called the hashtag Betty White Challenge in honor of Betty White's 100th birthday. The actress died on New Year's Eve, just weeks before her centennial celebration of January 17, but because she is so beloved, the campaign has taken flight to raise millions for animals. Actors and Others for Animals, the charity for which she served on the board of directors, launched the campaign asking for donations of $100 for Betty's 100th birthday. Dozens of other groups benefited too, as the public began sending in money to local shelters in Ms. White's name. Almost 400,000 people used Facebook and Instagram to donate to the challenge, raising an incredible $12.7 million for animal shelters and rescuers all over the country, with 100% of the pledges going directly to the organizations. Two Philadelphia shelters brought in $100,000, a Los Angeles Zoo charity got $70,000, an Arkansas shelter was flooded with over $12,000, and Dubuque, Iowa shelters received $13,000. Betty had prepared a video to share on her 100th birthday, which was recorded just days before her death. I just want to thank you all for your love and support over the years. Thank you so much and stick around. Number 6. Kenyan Artist Makes Textured Canvases for the Visually Impaired. A Kenyan artist has made a series of interactive canvases with messages in braille in a bid to make the visual arts accessible to those who are visually impaired. In a studio in Nairobi, Kenyan artist Tina Benora creates paintings that incorporates braille into her works, part of a project to help children who suffer from early preventative blindness enjoy art. For Benora, putting the blind viewer in a position of power when it comes to interpreting her pieces is essential. The result is a series of pieces that defy contemporary expectations of how we should interact with art, creating a playful and fun experience for both the visually impaired and non-blind to experience the artwork that is on display. Number 5. Former Marine drove 1,000 miles to Ukraine border in minibus loaded with supplies, toys, and blankets for refugees. A former UK Royal Marine has loaded a 16-seater minibus with sleeping bags, pillows, and toys for refugees moving across the Ukrainian border into Poland and pledged to drive 1,000 miles to personally deliver them. 31-year-old Tom Littledyke from Lyme Regis began his journey on February 28, saying he was inspired to act after seeing pictures of families broken and separated by the conflict. Setting up a fundraiser, it took Little Dyke just 12 hours to fill his minibus with supplies and collect £4,000 in donations for the trip. The 1,000-mile drive will take him and his cargo through England, France, Germany, and Poland before arriving at the border with Ukraine, where an alleged 500,000 refugees have fled. After unloading the supplies, he plans to utilize the bus to give rides to people who have a place to stay. While it is said that war is hell, we at Positive Listicles know that during times when the capacity for human malevolence is greatest, the capacity for compassion is greater. Number 4. Perot New York police officer runs out on thin ice to rescue dog floundering in frozen lake. Officer Jonathan Smith was called to Bond Lake near Lewiston, New York, after receiving reports of a Labrador that had fallen in about 50 yards from the shore. In this hard and mouth footage captured by a fellow officer's body cam, the brave cop throws off some equipment before dashing out onto the ice without any caution for his own safety. The owner had been walking the 10-month-old pup around the lake on January 5th when the pup spotted a distant flock of geese landing on the water and bolted towards them. Horrified, the pup's owner watched as the dog fell into the freezing water at the edge of the ice. Frantically they called 911, and 15 minutes later, Officer Smith and two other officers from the police department arrived. 
Without hesitation or rescue equipment, the officer removed his vest and gun belt and hustled over the ice towards an exhausted pup. When he got close enough to her, Officer Smith grabbed the pooch and pulled her from the water so she was able to run back over the ice to her owner. Lewiston Police Department posted the body cam footage from the rescue on their Facebook page, along with the message from the pup's owner. Officer Smith was also honored recently for pulling a woman from a burning building in November and has been working at Lewiston Police Department since July 2020. Number 3. 100 Nations Take Action to Save Oceans from Illegal Fishing and Plastic Pollution. Representatives from more than 100 countries have committed to measures aimed at preserving the ocean from human harm, including stepping up the fight against illegal fishing, cutting plastic pollution, and better protecting international waters. The French president, Emmanuel Macron, hosting the high-level session of the One Ocean Summit said that 2022 was a decisive year and we should take here clear and firm commitments. The 27 European Union states and 16 others agreed to pursue a global agreement by the end of the year to regulate the sustainable use of the high seas, waters lying outside any one country's jurisdiction, and preserve their biodiversity. Half a dozen more countries joined a plastics economy global commitment, backed by the UN Environment Programme to help governments and businesses transition to a circular economy aimed at recycling or reusing 100% of all plastics. Number 2. Senegal winning Africa's biggest sports trophy is the ultimate feel-good story. For the first time in their country's history, the talented footballing nation of Senegal has taken home Africa's finest sporting prize, the African Cup. They won the African Cup of Nations in thrilling overtime fashion, defeating Egypt 4-2 on penalties after extra time in the final. Their success throughout the prestigious Afghan tournament has been marked with scenes of extreme joy and inspiration, but also generosity. The president of Senegal declared a national holiday and a parade of tens of thousands turned out to meet the team as they returned home from the tournament in Cameroon. Senegal's top goal scorer Sadio Mani was named the player of the tournament. And it couldn't have happened to a nicer man. A Premier League and Champions League winner playing for Liverpool, Mani has taken every opportunity to use his world-class paycheck for acts of generosity, both at home in England and more recently during the AFCON. During the tournament, he personally paid for airline tickets so that 50 Senegalese fans could fly to Cameroon to watch the games. After the first knockout game against Cape Verde, Mani was hospitalized with a concussion and, whilst being treated, discovered that a local boy arrived in critical condition after being struck by a motorcycle. After Mani heard the story, he paid the boy's entire bill, which the parents were unable to afford. This was not the first time Mani has lent a helping hand in West Africa. He has donated more than $1 million to build a school, a hospital, and soccer academy in his home village of Bambali, where he grew up playing soccer barefooted. Why would I want 10 Ferraris, 20 diamond watches, or two planes? Says Mani, who will become a forever legend in African football. I build schools, a stadium, we provide clothes, shoes, food for people who are in extreme poverty. I prefer that my people receive a little of what life has given me. The victory of Mani and Senegal as a team wraps up some beautiful narrative sporting screenplays and epitomizes why soccer is known as the beautiful game. Number 1. A hero just passing by saves young mom and son from dying in Wyoming house fire. A passerby is being hailed as a hero for risking his own life to help rescue a Wyoming family after their Jamestown home erupted into flames early this month. The 34-year-old mother and her four young children were asleep in their Jamestown house when a fire erupted in the home. Ryan Pasberg was running late for work when he smelled smoke and saw flames coming from a bedroom window. When he didn't see any emergency lights, the 32-year-old decided to pull into the driveway where he saw a young girl and two boys leaving the house. The three children told Pasberg that their mother and four-year-old little brother were still inside, and without hesitation he entered the residence through a garage door and stepped into the kitchen. Pasberg told authorities that he could not see anything inside because of heavy smoke, so he crawled on his hands and knees on the floor several feet into the kitchen before he bumped into the small child. He immediately grabbed the boy around the waist, picked him up, and carried him outside. He then entered the burning home a second time, this time crawling through the kitchen deeper into the house in search of the children's missing mother. Moments later, Pasberg found the woman lying on the floor, struggling to breathe. After dragging her outside, 
he noticed that she was unresponsive and no longer breathing, so he began performing life-saving measures until she suddenly took a gasp of air. Pazberg then drove the family away from the now raging fire to the end of the driveway near the highway and awaited the arrival of emergency first responders. Sheriff Deputy Jason Moore said he could not recall ever witnessing such courage and selflessness as that displayed by Pazberg, who surely saved the lives of the young mother and son. Not only was his bravery on display, but his generosity and compassion. Pazberg later purchased several hundred dollars worth of clothing and necessities and delivered them to the family at their grandmother's house. Multiply the positivity by sharing these sweet stories with your friends on social media.